Eco Future Design. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 357. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Gene Siebel, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is the January 26, 2020 edition of our weekly progress update. And if you're not already familiar with it, One Community's goal is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to create sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. If you'd like to see everything that we've done the last week, visit our written blog for the specifics, the action of, of everything that's been accomplished the last week. We produce a weekly uh, progress blog as well that goes with this video and covers all that stuff. And today what I want to talk about is eco-future design. And what you see in the background of this video happening right now are examples of our eco-future design. But I want to talk about the details that you can't really see that's there. So we have seven different sustainable village models. We have a duplicable city center. But we also have high skilled education models, high skilled economic models, fulfilled living models, and true stewardship models, as well as the high skilled energy models, the high skilled food models. All these things put together to create teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to create and build their own teacher demonstration hubs as well. And our goal is to create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs working together, creating more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and plans so that people have more and more variety and options to choose from so that even more eco demonstration hubs and teacher demonstration hubs can be built around the world, building the global cooperative, building a global collaborative so that we can create a sustainable world for everybody. And so our idea of eco-future design is not just about housing. Like a lot of the aspects of it, I mean, housing has a lot of eco-future aspects to it. Like, you know, we think that that passive heating and cooling is going to become the wave of the future. We see that capturing and storing water is going to be something that's that's arguably going to become necessary in the future, but that we think that it makes a lot of sense to be able to do that. We think that the future is a world of food that is not sprayed with poisons and toxins and herbicides and fungicides and cancer-causing agents. Uh, and the same thing with our water and our air. We think that the future holds uh, humanity in a place that will not want to have poison air and poison water. And so we're designing with the foundations to create that. We're designing sustainable teacher demonstration hubs that will teach people how to be able to grow their own food. We'll teach people how to be able to uh, purchase land and make sure that their water is clean, to be able to recycle their water, to be able to purify their water, to be able to live in places where the air is clean, to be able to grow their own food without herbicides and pesticides, but also, as I said, the education aspect of it, the social architecture aspect of it, the community aspect of it, is something that we also see as part of eco-future design. It's about cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. It's about understanding that we accomplish more working together. It's taking the same model that's working right now in major corporations as far as bringing people together and paying them to work together on a certain specific thing. Instead, it's like, hey, let's bring people together and provide a way of living that's better than the way they're living right now as long as we can work together, cooperate and collaborate and help run our ecotourism destination. It can provide enough to supply everything that's needed with the environment for us and all of our friends and our family and everybody that's there, as well as providing for people to be able to come and visit and experience as well. And if they like what it is that we're doing, they can take this eco-future design and replicate it or make it even better, hopefully, and become a part of a global cooperative if they want to, global cooperative and collaborative for the highest good of all life on this planet, working together and supplying their own adaptations, modifications, evolutions, of what it is that they've done with the foundation that we've created. And so our idea for eco-future design is creating a replicable foundation that can be replicated anywhere around the world as a starting point. And we call this open source project launch blueprinting because we're not just open sourcing everything that we're creating, we're open sourcing the very process for how we're open sourcing it. So the other people will be able to modify and adapt our designs and then be able to, to contribute that content back into the global cooperative and collaborative and use our same website templates and everything so that we can create web pages that show the different branches, the modifications, the adaptations of everything that we're creating and promote other people's projects as well. 
So in living with this idea of, hey, we're a part of a global cooperative and a global community, we're putting it together all the infrastructure now so that we can not only promote our project, but so that we can promote other people's projects as well. All they have to do is contribute and free share what is they're creating. And everything that we've created is in the open source commons, which says that, hey, as long as what you're creating, as long as you att give attribution, and as long as you show that, hey, the open source foundations, the free shared foundations exist, you can do whatever you want with what it is that we're creating. And for those people who want to open source and free share with us, well, that's the eco future design model that we see taking us into a future that is sustainable for everyone, creating a global planet that is sustainable, a sustainable civilization. And so we're, we're working to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it attractive enough so this idea and the models and designs can become viral and spread across, spread across the world and, and, and become self-replicating. That's it. Easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough. That is the equation. That is the formula for something going viral and becoming self-replicating. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions for every single component, everything you see happening in the background of this video and so much more. Our eco-future design includes resource-based economy. You know, a lot of people don't think about it, but the social aspect of what is that we're creating is a big part of the eco-future design because the idea is that because we can do more by sharing, we can have more fun in the environments that we're living in by, by cooperating and collaborating and putting our resources into shared options rather than for ourselves. An example would be, I don't need a lawnmower except once a week, once every couple weeks. You know, I don't need to own a motorcycle. I don't need to own a jet ski. I don't need to own a dune buggy. You know, I really just need access to those kinds of things. I don't need to own all the tools that I own for building things. I really just need access to those things. And so our eco-future design from a social perspective includes stewardship is a big part of it that I've talked about a lot in other videos. But right now what I want to talk about is the social aspect of it and the idea that eco-future design should mean a way of living that is better than the way that people are living right now by giving people more access to the things that most people are working their butts off for right now. People go to work to make more money so that they can have a wonderful place to live, so that they can go on vacation, so they can go play with whatever the toys are that they enjoy, so they can spend more time in nature, so they can spend more time doing sports, so they can spend more time with their family, so they can spend more time with their friends, so they can spend more time doing, playing with the toys that they like to play with, whatever that version of that is. You can have more of that in the model that we're creating because you have more people working together to create that and sharing in those resources and upgrading them and buying better versions of them. And so our entire community design revolve, uh, it includes that. It doesn't revolve around that, but it includes that. It does revolve around that because if we're not having fun, why are we doing that? And so that's a big, big foundation of our eco-future design, in addition to the food, the energy, and the housing, the social architecture, the fulfilled living practices, the personal growth, the contribution, the global contribution, the highest good education model that shows that when we work together, we can be a part of the education of our kids and each other as well, and our own growth process can be continuous and a lifetime endeavor if we want it to, for people that want that. And that's also included in the model. And then of course, as I said, the stewardship model as well. So I could go on and on and on about this. I try to keep these videos to under 10 minutes, including the couple minutes that finishes after this. So I'm gonna wrap up right there and say, hey, if you wanna see more details and specifics on this, watch the next couple minutes of the video and you'll see the, the different components of all the different components. So you got the food, the energy, the housing, it breaks down, you know, hey, what is the city center? And what is the housing? And what is the education model? What's included in all that? And even the highest good society model. And then check out our website, all these details are on there. We've been open sourcing this stuff for 10 years. 400 vol Over 400 volunteers have contributed and I'm out of time. So I'm going to stop right there and say Eco Future Design, it's more than just food, energy, and housing from our perspective. It includes social architecture and stewardship and all these other things. And so we're open sourcing that as well. That's it. I'm done. Until next week, thank you. And we will, of course, keep on keeping on. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models.
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.